Now I want to let you know it is about the power that pass power. That make prophecy to come to pass while others are going the other side you go the other side. Just like the concluded election in Nigeria. You know when it comes to election a lot of people will come up and the people that are not prophet we want to prophesy to just bring what's called or uh, maybe they want to take glory to themselves or they want to take honor to themselves or they want to make themselves uh, relevant or for the world to know them. Some will say oh the Tinubu, if you don't come and see me you will lose election and this one if you don't come this will happen tell him to come and meet me to this to do that. Major prophet of God, I don't do all of that. I have come to a level in the realm of the spirit of prophetic that I, I don't do prophecy to do what's called a favor somebody or disfavor another person. I have come to a level in the prophetic world to prophesy what is written in the realm of the spirit so that the world can hear and know that that's what's called the superpower, the power that pass power. And when I talk about the superpower, I am talking about the power that pass power, the power that no man can discharge except Jehovah God. The power that is not fabricated with hands. The power that is not by human making. The power that is not by your level of prayer. The power that is not by your level of spirituality. It is the power that is only God and God alone that can discharge through you. And don't forget what Jesus said. He said, and you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you. The Holy Spirit is the author and the originator of power. And because it's the author and the originator of power, as many that are ready for power to endow them, something begins to happen. Yesterday, uh, a day before yesterday, or a few days ago, yes, day before yesterday or thereabout, one of my son in the Lord, that was yesterday, yesterday I think yesterday or so, my sons in the Lord, one of my son in the Lord, just came in here and said, Major Prophet, I said, yes. He said, as I talk to you, the prophecy you give to me, as I talk to you, as come to pass. I said, what's the prophecy? He said, the day I came to this church, I was complaining of a lot of things. And I was talking about, I am going to do the work of God. But I don't know the year. In my mind, I was thinking it's going to be something like 50 years to come. But the moment I came in to see you and you told me that I have a calling, that I am a prophet of God and you prophesied in my life and told me that God is going to use me and you told me to join the ordination and all the things that is going to go on and I joined the ordination and you told me that in this ordination, the moment I am ordained, that everything I've been chasing all through the days of my life, that they are going to come in a microsecond, in a twinkle of an eye. That my life is going to transform. He said, man of God, you know I am a music producer, uh, market people and all of that. He said, man of God, I say yes. He said, I, I, I want to let you know that all this while I have been waiting, oh, when am I going to blow in my music world? He said, my name, I've always turned to what's called blow. And I have done, spend money, do everything, nothing is working. He said, man of God, my papa, my daddy, I am here to give you testimony of what the Lord has done after the ordination. He said, after the ordination, God has blessed him to set up a very big business with a shop for the wife. And also, God has given him a place of worship that he has gotten a place and the ministry is going to kickstart immediately. That he has already started service as at that day. Okay, that was on Monday that he came. He said he has already started service on Monday. And the people that came immediately want to speak to them. God took over. He said, Prophecy uh, that is wounded. He's asking himself, What is going on? That he wants to talk. God will take over him and he begin to prophesy. He said, As he's, as he's talking to me now, he's, as he's talking to me now, people are testifying. And people are wondering, How manage? Is it not supposed to go for theology school for like 50 years or like 10 years or like many years before oil will come upon him to be a man of God or to do the work of God? But major prophet of God just picked him up and poured the oil and declared him a servant of God. And all the days of his life, everything he has known about God has come afresh as if he's just giving his life to Christ. He said he's become the zeal is about to conjure him. He's wondering what is going on. He can't understand. He says he's talking to me. He paid the rent of a place for 400,000 naira. And the ministry inauguration, as I speak to you, definitely may be any moment from now. 
And when the date is out, I'm going to let many of you know so that you can see what the Lord is capable of doing. It is about God. Superpower is about God. Power that has power is about God. But I want to tell you that God will never be powerful until you are ready to make God powerful in your life. I want to let you know that God cannot be strong until you are ready to make God strong. During the election, people came out uh, with different prophecies. This one said this will happen. That one said this will happen. And the major prophet of God, by the grace of God, I gave them what's called bit by bit prophecy and everything. And I came on the 31st night. On the 31st night, I called the whole world. I said, listen to major prophet of God. Because the election that is coming in Nigeria is already written in the realm of the spirit of what's going to happen. And as I said, as I'm talking to you, I know all the figures and the numbers that are going to be given to everybody and how everybody will be announced. And I begin to tell you the positions. And I mention the position just to prove to you when we talk about power, we are not talking about carrying block. We're not talking about carrying bags. We're not talking about the muscle you have. We're not talking about the apple bee. We're not talking about, oh, this one is, is this or that. We are talking about the power of faith. The Holy Ghost power. The Holy Ghost power. Power, power. The Holy Ghost power. The Holy Ghost power is the power that will conquer those Satan that have been troubling your life. That person in your father's house that has vowed that he will never be alive to see you succeed. That person around you, that person in your vicinity, that person in your father's house, that person that has vowed that over his life or over her dead body that he will never be alive to see you make it. I want to let you know that the power that passes power, if you believe the major prophet of God and you are ready for the power to come upon you, the spirit of God is here. The hand of the Lord is lifted above and God is in the business to do something in the life of somebody. Wherever you have lost your glory, wherever you have lost your destiny, wherever you have lost your career, wherever you have lost what belongs to you and you have been crying and praying and clamoring and fighting, you want to succeed, you want to make it, you want to move forward in life and the enemy said no. Every power that said no to you, every spirit that said no to you, every king them that ever rise against you I am talking about power that pass power whatever they hindered in your life and you'll be praying and praying and something is not happening you pray and pray and pray and something is not happening I want to say to you that God of all possibility the superpower the power that made the heavens and the earth don't forget that in the beginning was the world and the world was with God and the world is God he's the one that make it away where there's no way he's the one that sent Moses to the house of Pharaoh and he said Pharaoh let my people go and Pharaoh said how can I obey that God and God said do you want to obey me do you want to hear me do you want to know me and he said who is that God that I should obey him and right there Moses commanded heaven to open and he threw the staff there and the staff turned to serpent and the enemy of Pharaoh, the enemy of Israel, Pharaoh and his men now begin to bring their enchantment, their divination, their incantation and all their powers, they dropped it and that of Moses now begin to swallow all the snakes of Pharaoh and at the end of it all, Pharaoh bowed and let the people go. They set it up in the gates of Elijah. Elijah and the prophets of power. After the sacrifice and everything, all the prophets of power and as many as they were, they all bow because there is power from above that is above all. And Jesus said, he that cometh from above is above all. And so when you talk about power, the past power, you are talking about the power in faith. Somebody walked up to me, he said, man of God. I said, yes. He said, make your prophet, please. I'm in problem now. I said, what's the problem? He said, he went for a program somewhere. And when he got there and they told him that he was going to die before the end of November, that was the end. And I said, what? He said, he was going to die in November, that there's going to be an accident. And something like that will happen to him. And I said, oh, and what did you say after they said it to you? He said, he just said, God forbid. And since that time when he left, every day, accident, accident. And many people are just dreaming, dreaming here and there, telling him. And I called him. I said, listen to me. Are you ready to hear the truth? He said, yes. I said, whatever people say to you, if you believe it, 
that is how it comes to pass in your life. If people say you are going to die, that they had a dream where devil began to pursue you and you were running and they told about you, about to die and Satan was chasing you with a sword and then you wake up and believe it with what's called a lesser faith by saying, oh, and the you that is believing it is believing that that person that said it to you is more powerful or have more faith or have what it takes to tell you what will happen to you and it will happen to you oh the person that said it is my sister my sister any dream that my sister had it used to come to pass the person that said it is my neighbor any dream my neighbor had it usually come to pass it is my elder brother whatever he says always come to pass this one said this that is what he said always come to pass that is why i am panicking that's why i'm afraid and i called the young man i said i want you to listen to me they listen to me and say, I am a major prophet of God. I said, from now, November and beyond, if your bone break in accident, or you are on Okada and Okada falls, or you are going somewhere and anything happened to the Okada or whatever happened to you, carry your people and come here and arrest me. And tell me, major prophet, you are a fake prophet. But I want to tell you that from now, every Every story they are telling you comes to an end. You are not going to be involved in anything accident. And no attack can attack your life. This year will come to pass. You will come next year and you will testify. Brethren, I have turned into a singing marathon. Every time the brother comes to church, since about four or five years ago till today, every time he comes to church, once, once in a while, I will call him and say, Brother, you remember the day they told you that we're going to die? You're going to die in that year, November? And you were panicking. You were already shaking. Your sisters are having dreams. People are having dreams. People die in the village. They will call you and say, remember what they told you. I said, when I told you that nothing is going to happen to you, since that time to today, has anything happened to you? He said, no. He started laughing. They will call the son and call the family. They will start laughing. So what I'm trying to say is that that's what's called the power that pass power. Power that pass power can be in the world of prophecy. You know, in the world of prophecy, many of you that always follow me online, you know how major prophet operate when it comes to prophesying what will happen in Nigeria, what will happen in America, what will happen in India, what will happen all over the world, the different countries of the world, Europe, America, Asia, Canada, and all the countries and continents of the world. You have always watched me online and you hear me prophesy things, and as I prophesy them, with your eyes, you always see them coming to pass.